invite you to join the conversation Connecting with Animals with the Director of Smithsonian National Zoo and Conservation Biology Institute, Steve Montfort, and the U.S. Country Director for the International Fund for Animal Welfare, Beth Allgood. So hi, I'm with Beth Allgood, the U.S. Country Director for the International Fund for Animal Welfare, and we're talking about connecting with animals. And so Beth, I'm a veterinarian and I'm a zoo director and I have, I'm a companion animal lover. So uh, I know how important animals are to me and all those people that I live and work with. And in fact, my daughter was just evacuated from the Peace Corps about a month ago from Tanzania. And then just this week, we evacuated her dog, Isa. And uh, I know how special that is for my daughter and for all of us. So, but here we are in the midst of this COVID uh, crisis, and I'm wondering, you know, why do animals matter so much now, and shouldn't we really be thinking more about uh, people at this time? Um, well, thanks, Steve, and thanks for having me here. Um, that is a great question, and um, you know, we work on disaster assistance um, with animals, and so we get that question a lot. Um, I think with COVID particularly, it's a really interesting question because we're living through a really an object lesson in why exploiting animals, wildlife, um, habitat can undermine human well-being, our health, and really even um, our existence in some in some cases. Um, helping animals for us is helping people um, in disaster assistance, for example people won't evacuate without their pets, without their animals, like your daughter, I'm sure had a really hard time evacuating without her her dog. Um, they're, I was gonna say they're like family, but they really are family for many people. Um, also with the fires in Australia, the world suffered watching that, that the human population of the world was really horrified by watching a billion wild animals die in these wildfires. And it brought an attention to climate change, um, really visceral attention. It's gonna be hard for the ecosystems to recover without those animals as well. So it's um, it's the connection between people and, and animals is really intense. Um, in COVID also, it's interesting because having our animals with us while many of us are at home has been a real comfort to us. And watching wildlife cams or zoo cams, you and I had talked about this before, but your um, cameras at the zoo are getting a lot of attention and a lot of excitement. They're bringing uh, communities together, watching um, wildlife in our own neighborhoods come back. And so I think that wildlife animals, matter in COVID, um, maybe not more, but as much as any other, any other time. And there, there's absolutely a connection between people and animals that, that can't be, uh, they can't be separated. So as we, as we start talking about those bonds and there, is there good news in here for people and animals and in this crisis and how, how can we leverage that to do something uh, that would benefit uh, both animals and people as a result of this, you know, sort of awareness of the special bond between animals and people now? Yeah, I have a lot that I'm optimistic about. It's a hard, hard time. I mean, there's no denying it, but I think that kind of this pause that we're having has allowed us to, or is allowing us to think about how we can transform our relationships and what we value. And there's a lot of a lot of good things that come out of it. We're seeing some um, changes in even temporarily on wildlife consumption bans, but there's a lot of really amazing things that can happen. Some countries measure well-being, not just short-term um, economic growth. And those types of measures that Iceland and New Zealand have announced, Bhutan has, um, has had it for a long time, those could be expanded. They could include, um, and they should include animals, wildlife. Um, that's urgent, I believe. Um, the sustainable development goals can include wildlife um, and animal welfare in the human well-being goals, because there's they, you can't wait until you achieve human development until you look at conservation. It's a uh, it's fundamental, and uh, we've seen what happens when you don't do it. It can it can tank economies, you know. Um, 
And in communities, we've seen that communities that have this broader relationship with wildlife and animals, not just an economic one, have really good results with um, their species conservation too. We've done some research into that. So we've, we've seen some lessons that we can apply. So to me, the good news is um, in polls, for example, Gallup polls, people care about animals, they care about happiness, they care about well-being, and communities can show what that looks like on the ground. Policies have been sort of shifting slowly towards well-being. All of that can be expanded right now while we're in this pause, and we can live more meaningful lives that that actually can increase all of our well-being, human, animal, the planet, we have a chance to transform everything. And that makes me uh, really optimistic, even in these kind of, well, very difficult times. Yeah, well, we talk about well-being for for ourselves, and, and now we're increasingly talking about well-being for animals. It's a really interesting subject, and IFA is doing some great work there. Where can people go to learn more, to take a deeper dive into this? Where would you recommend they uh, go? Well, at IFA, we have um, a site specifically about this project, about human and animal well-being. And you can find it at um, ifa.org and then just search for well-being and it'll pull up several of our reports on this topic. We also have some work on um, coexistence with wildlife that you can find there. And um, we would love people to take a closer look. Well, uh, that's about wrapping up our time. I mean, thank you so much for uh, for all the work that you're doing, and um, let's keep in touch. Let's figure out a way to collaborate to improve well-being for animals and and people too. Thanks so much. Really appreciate your uh, your inputs Love here today. Thank you.